Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. Mm. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Yeah. Andre Harrell is dead. The only two left are Puffy and Al, and Al almost died. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Heavy D was found dead, face down in the heart attack. Andre Harrell, heart attack. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. And then right after that, Al had a meeting and I was gonna meet up with him because we were in Vegas and then the next thing you know, you wanna know what they all had in common though? They were all writing tell-all books. Mm -hmm. Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. I'll be sure was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a coma. Has Puffy ever been in a coma? Has he, has anything happened to him? He must be the luckiest because it seems like everybody that worked at Uptown Records from the very beginning is all gone. Just him. <laughs>